Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another video. In today's update, we're going to be talking about Hurricane Epsilon that became the fourth major of the year and also a disturbance in the Caribbean that's going to bring some torrential rains for that area. So before I do get started, if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload about five videos a week to keep you updated. And I do ask you to share this video with your friends and family that might be impacted from this potential system. So let's kind of delve into the details. Um, let's let's look at what, what uh, now is Hurricane Epsilon. It's 955 millibars, 110 mile per hour uh, hurricane. And it really got its act together uh, yesterday and became the fourth major hurricane of the season. And uh, man, that was the 10th hurricane of the entire year. So it's been an incredible year. And we also have an area of an interest in the Caribbean that the National Hurricane Center gives a 20% chance of developing, but we'll get that to in a little bit. So now let's kind of zoom in on Epsilon. Here it is out in the middle of the Atlantic. It is just exploded yesterday into a major hurricane. Here is Bermuda. It is just now taking that northwest uh, turn towards the area. But luckily, uh, Bermuda is going to escape and be on the east side of this storm. But uh, man, th this was a, a, a powerful system uh, yesterday. It was an incredible to watch it unfold. Um, and then this will develop into, uh, and then eventually, you know, swing off into the, the Northeast. But yeah, here's the latest from the National Hurricane Center. It's moving at seven miles an hour. It's 110 mile per hour. Officially now it was downgraded as of this morning. But if you looked at the, the probability guidance of it becoming a major hurricane, it was literally a 0.2%. No member of the Euro model, 51 members, not one of them had it coming to a major hurricane. So that just kind of goes to show you just because the model doesn't say it has the capability doesn't mean if the conditions are right, then yes, it can get to that. And it was uh, incredible to watch yesterday, watching it unfold and become the fourth major of the of the year but yeah this thing will kind of get its act together as, as scave bermuda on friday and then a quickly uh, swift off to the northeast and become extra tropical and become this massive storm heading towards iceland and you know out to sea but now if you ever wanted to see what it looked like inside of a hurricane this is what you see you literally this is an eye from the hurricane hunters yesterday inside epsilon and as they were flying in you got a lot of you know turbulence wind rain you can you can only imagine then boom you hit the eye and that stadium dome effect just unsettles and you look up it's crystal clear you got blue skies the birds are you know it's a, it's an incredible uh, what they got to experience and what it actually looks like inside of an eye so i wanted to kind of share that with you what the actual hurricane center ac actually sees when they fly into the storm so that's a, a, a pretty incredible sight but now let's kind of zoom on to the disturbance of an area of interest down here in the C caribbean by the yucatan it's basically a trough of low pressure. It's in the Western Caribbean Sea. It's primarily, it extends all the way uh, near Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, and to Cuba. Uh, you know, development of the system is going to be kind of really slow. The NHC gives it a probability of 20%. But regardless of development, I mean, we're talking some torrential rains over, you know, places like Cuba, uh, South Florida, and the Bahamas, and the Jamaica through early next week. So, this whole area is under the gun for ex some extreme rainfall. And I'll show you some of these amounts are, are pretty incredible. But if we kind of zoom in to this, to the, to the satellite picture this morning, here's the area of interest that the National Hurricane Center has the spot on. And you can see there's not much, you know, thunderstorm development firing near the center as of this morning. But there's, but there's definitely areas down to the southeast by uh, Jamaica here that uh, that's really got a lot of thunderstorm activity firing up uh, this morning. So you're going to be inundated in Jamaica with some extremely heavy rainfall uh, today from this area of disturbance. So whenever there's a, an area where you have congealed, you know, thunderstorm activity, we talked about 
We've been kind of talking about focusing on this area after the 21st and today's the 22nd. Things are going to be coming a little bit more favorable because now we're tapping into some of that upward rising motion air instead of a sinking air. So thunderstorms have become a little bit more favorable to able to rise and, you know, the, 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 as, as they congeal together, then they can lower the pressures and possibly spin up a, a, a tropical system. But yeah, the rainfall has been incredible. Here are some of the amounts just in the last three days near Miami, just from just, just tropical moisture in the atmosphere, almost eight, eight inches, a little bit over eight inches near Miami, just in the last three days, as, as of this morning, October 22nd, as is the 6 a.m. So and that's, and I'll show you some of these amounts that are coming up. So we've got a lot of rainfall. The ground is really saturated in uh, uh, South Florida, and there's definitely more to come. And even down further south uh, by Jamaica over the next three days, so some of the guidance is, is in basically implying, you know, five to 10 inches easily in uh, the Jamaica area, down in the, the, the Cayman Islands by Georgetown. Uh, you're talking into Cuba, into uh, more closer into Miami, Key West, and South Florida. So this whole area, I know I got a lot of new followers in uh, Jamaica, so I appreciate you following my channel. Uh, but yeah, this whole area of interest, definitely be on the lookout for more tor torrential rains uh, for you guys in Jamaica and to the Cayman Islands over the next several days and even into the five-day period where I'll show you some extreme rainfall amounts. But let's look at the guidance and kind of see if this little disturbance is able to form. And here's the latest uh, GFF, GEFS ensemble guidance kind of implies the next, here's the next five days, this whole general area where the NHC has that 20% spot, uh, looking at some sort of uh, development that possibly might be coming out and that will take a general northeast jog over Cuba into the Bahamas and definitely South Florida. So this whole area of, of interest has to be uh, on the lookout for potentially a tropical storm development and even away from the center with the right front quadrant, as I showed you hit down here, even in Jamaica, even though you possibly might not be near that disturbance, you're going to get inundated with some torrential rains uh, just from this central Gyra region. But here's the latest Euro model of the uh, 500 millibar uh, cyclonic velocity, you know, vorticity indexed by Sunday, Monday in this region kind of implies we're trying to get some sort of low pressure trying to form over uh, the Bahamas, over South Florida. It gets very near uh, South Florida. I'll tell you, I'll show you a couple of the models uh, after this, but this is the area of interest that we have to be on the lookout for. And here's the latest uh, Canadian model. Kind of it shows the same thing over the over uh, here Sunday. So just talking three to three, four days from now, we could have some sort of low pressure near Florida, near the Bahamas, off the, off the southeast coast. Uh, and, and the icon model kind of shows basically the same thing, just the same general area by Cuba, by South Florida, by the Bahamas. This is on Sunday of, of a potentially lowering the pressures. You pretty much have to get to a little bit below a thousand millibars to have a, uh, a, a tropical uh, system named. But yeah, this is the area of interest, but man, this is what I'm talking about as far as like extreme rainfall. This is the latest Euro model of the precipitation water index just through on Saturday. And we're talking some extreme rainfall up to four inches per hour. The atmosphere will be capable of producing that amount of rain. So literally near Jamaica, the, the Cayman Islands, Georgetown, Cuba, this whole area could be inundated by torrential flooding rains coming up for your Saturday of, from this particular tropical disturbance in the Caribbean. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And this will extend northward and get, start getting into uh, South Florida, into uh, the Bahamas uh, by, by Sunday and Monday. So, but over the next five days, just as just from the latest Euromod, over the next five days through uh, Monday into Tuesday, we're talking upward to almost two feet of rainfall. This area of interest by, by uh, Jamaica could get up to a foot on the south side of Jamaica by Kingstown. Um, uh, then by, by the Cayman Islands, especially around Georgetown and the Cayman Islands into South Cuba, this whole area could be under the gun of at least a foot of rainfall, if not more, 15 
almost 20 inches of rainfall. And this area has already received a lot of rainfall. So definitely be on the lookout for extreme rainfall capability um, in this area as this tropical system uh, potentially might get its act together and perform a, a, a tropical low into a tropical storm by early uh, next week by the Bahamas around this area. So I'll definitely be keeping you updated on this uh, this potential system. But hey, I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Uh, please like this video. Definitely leave your comments below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, to catch me in the next video where I protect you before and after the storm.